we'll go right down there, John, have we? Yeah, the I, I'm not sure where the wood drop is, Harry. Well, I see pieces of wood, but I don't. There's the wood here, John. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Am I put... Yeah? That'd be it, wouldn't it? How stupid am I? We needed to get some wood for the, the campfire, so Harry and I went down to collect some wood, and we had a probably a, one of the most loveliest talks I've had in a long time. So what do you think Sandra, Sandra's doing right now? Probably doing a bit of keep fit, John. She's into her keep fit, you know. She loves yoga and Pilates, and they do all that stuff. Her and a few of her friends, and have a glass of wine after, and sit and chat and have a laugh. <laughs> but I'll be, I mean, you know, I've been with... I've been 54 years with Sandra. It's a long time. Where'd you meet her? Well, I met her at the... At, there used to be a dance in the East End in Stratford on a Saturday night at the Two Puddings, <laughs> right? It's, it's above... It was above a pub, right? So me and my mate, Mac, Colin McElwolf, he was a goalkeeper at West Ham. And we stood there, and there was two lovely girls stood over there. They were dancing around their handbags. So I said to Mac, <laughs> Should we have a dance with them too? Now, Macca, John, Macca is good looking geezer, right? And it, so she, I, I, I look back on it now and I think, how must she have been feeling? She's seen us two coming, she thought, oh no, I, ain't, I hope I ain't got him, you know what I mean? And she's cop for me. And Macca's dancing with her mate, you know. Anyway, 54 years later, we're still. Still going as strong as ever. Yeah. Did but, Macca's end up with? No, he never. He ended up an undertaker. So really, I think Sandra had the better of the deal, John. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> in the long term. Yeah. I'm always interested in hearing other people's stories, and he was telling me about his wife Sandra and how long they've been married and how they met when they went to the, what is it, the two? I want to say it's the two donuts, or something. How did you meet? I mean, because well, Scott's we've... not in show business, is no, he? No, he's not. <laughs> There's only one star in this family. <laughs> and I think it's him. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I was doing a play in Chichester, and uh, a friend of ours brought Scott down, and after the show, I spoke to him, and it was then that I knew that was the person I was gonna spend the rest of my life yeah, with. Brilliant. And I said, look, let's go out to dinner. Well, the night we were meant to go out for a meal, I got a call. They said, we have Cher on the line. I went, what? Really? God. Said, Cher, she was in last night, she Super. saw the show. She wants to take you out to dinner tonight. And I went, um, well, that's oh, amazing. No. Yeah. I said, but I can't go. And <laughs> oh. they said, we're going to put you through. And I said, I spoke to her on the phone. I said, I'm sorry, I can't go to dinner with you tonight. There's someone that I'm interested in. I'm taking them out to dinner. And she said, bring them along. Go on. So our first date, Brilliant. really, yes, yeah. was with Cher. Well, John was having dinner with Cher, yeah, but I was, I was meeting Sandra in the two puddings. I know who got the best of the deal. 